G'day team, welcome back to another episode of Drive and Dive. Straight into the Kenners. Kind of save brief hold here when you uh, pull them up to the surface and get them off the rock that way. Yeah, it was a nice, nice spring day out. Definitely an abundance of kinners on the day. Be the first time I've, um, I've bagged out on kinners, to be honest. Uh, you say, Not really. You know, you're looking for the Oh, Jesse's just starting to venture out into the world of uh, power diving. So he's a bit of a novice. He's got plenty of learn, but we'll get some more water time in under his belt. Kind of figured why damage it, getting it off the rock, chuck it in the float boat and pull it off when it's relaxed. These big thick MPI knives are definitely harder work compared to a thinner stainless blade but um, they're a bit nicer on the powers so don't nick them as bad as the um, stainless. I like the point I can actually measure my powers with them. It was interesting diving the shallows with spear diving fins. I borrowed Chevy, uh, Jesse my um, bodyboarding fins, which I usually use for the shallows. So I had spear diving fins on. Quite hard work in the shallows. Just bending the blades all the time. Especially with tangle ups with the uh, float line. Have you found one yet? Right here. Show you where it is, you go get it. Coming from the side. Coming from the side, if you break the end or the back, you can't take it because you can't measure it. Oh. So come in from the side of it. Hey 
fair enough, don't give off on us, okay? You get up. yellow foot in the bag. Whoa. What do you guys think about them? Some people seem to reckon they're a bit sweeter. I've never been able to tell the difference to be honest. Is it all good? Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. Put, put the foot down on it. Oh no. It doesn't go in does it? So it's, yeah it's a legal foul. Oh yeah. Where's your bag? Yeah. Do you want to put it in there or in here? I don't care. Look, is that the big one I showed you or another one? So good. Mean. Oh. How's it feel? Good. Not a virgin anymore, son. Cold though. Pretty stoked to get Jesse onto his first power. We've definitely talked about a lot over the years, but uh, I think we've only taken him out once. Prior to this. Hopefully he's caught the bug. And he took my first sighting of power and it was on for me. Just to dream about the stuff. Gotta love the witty float boat. Still waiting for them to make a Bluetooth float line though. Nothing worse than float line tangles. Must have my outboard motor running a bit better after a bit of a bit of a play around with the um, throttle linkage. It was jamming on, so I adjusted the nut off a wee bit. Yeah, she's not not smacking into gear now and idling too high. Much nicer cruise tool from. Kids were busy gathering a bit of firewood to light a fire. It's a good day out for all really. I get my underwater time. Kids get a bit of a play. And as usual many people benefit from the uh, food I gather. I think probably up to a dozen.
bloke sounds tired. I think my dive fitness is a, leaves a bit to be desired at the moment. I've never had much of a breath hold anyway. Once I start getting to the latter part of a dive, close to an hour or so, definitely get a bit more fatigued. That's where I like the float boat. At least if I do need a rest, it uh, gives me that opportunity. Whereas if I had a, a full catch bag, I was getting to the point um, over a year ago where I'd basically start getting dragged down by the weight of the uh, catch bag. Of course, I want to keep filling the thing, but get to the point where it's becoming a bit dangerous to be honest. I'm only a light fella, I'm not overly buoyant. To get down properly, I just about go on the side of having too much lead. Once I get a wee bit tired, can be a bit, get me in some sticky situations. Could have bagged out on power a lot earlier if I wasn't so uh, focused on all the kinna. But there's just so much of it, it was everywhere. I'm not used to seeing this much kinna. Personally, I actually like the smaller ones. They're not as bitter, in my experience. I haven't eaten a lot of it, eaten a lot of it though. I'm still acquiring the taste for it. I opened up a heap of them and put it in a punnet. Gave it to my sister, which she was happy about because she reckons she's she's a bit iffy about killing them. <laughs> she doesn't like opening them up. Crack it. Yeah, my mate Dan got a decent feed from me for his family as well. Jeez, he took a few home. He wasn't sure whether, how keen he was on them either, but um, I got a message from him saying he loved them, so it's good. Yeah, I must have skipped the footage, but there was um, there was a few fish around on the day. Nothing special, some spotties and uh, wrasse. I think I might have seen a couple of green bone as well. But yeah, I was in a hurry in the morning, I didn't chuck a spear in. Grow a wee bit bigger, wee fella. We'll get you next time. Well, there was a fish. He's <laughs> 
body as well. Smoke on the horizon. Because we got the fire gun. Final measure up, but plenty of cunners and some uh, putai in there. Yellow foot, black foot. Things we needed. Nova, did you get some creatures too? Cock some? Yeah, this one's for you. Oh man. Alright, I'll have it soon. Thank it's you. Been Who got the fire going? Uh, all of us. <laughs> yeah, you mean. Well, I got right, the fire. Man. I got the fire. Heads <laughs> to the valley away. Fired all my bar. Yeah. I, I changed. Making some cream power. Brand myself a wee bit before I add some cream. And then I've got ready, that's ready to go on the fish smoker. Bit of power and some mussels and some sweet chilli sauce. Bottle of Kinners. Go for five of these away. Just to chew them around. I don't need too much of it, but. Some creamy wee holes on top there. Mean. It's creamy as. Bring some of that in. Cream. Pretty amateur uh, filming skills tonight. Check that gas down a bit. And just summer. Fire's going to pull up, eh? A bit of Manuka soda. Tea tree in Australia. Some of the species, anyway. Look to spoon them, I think it is. Yeah. Chunks of power in there. Muscles, mean. About 15 to 20 minutes to burn the mess off and smoke up. They'd be all cooked through. I was now reduced down nice and so she's not too far away. It's about a 
pull that good. Try. Sprinkle salt on it. Here's the finished product, Surf and Turf, sweet chilli power. Um, bit of muscle. 